morning students today i am going to discuss uh, some topic from motion chapters and lot of parameter we have already discussed from this chapter such as dear students the different types of motion and the estimation part and the unit of different physical quantity and last class the distance and displacement part we have already discussed now today i am start from the topic and the speed speed means actually what speed means is such a quantity by which we tells us how fast the body is moving okay but speed the definition of speed is the rate of change of distance with respect to time or the distance covered by the particle per unit time so speed means what from this definition the mathematical form is speed equal to distance by time and the symbol of distance is what is and time is t in my previous lecture we have discussed the what is the unit of distance means any kind of length distance is what any kind of length so unit should be meter and time is what second so si unit is meter per second second one is what the cgs unit the unit of distance is what in cgs in c stands for centimeter so you write centimeter and a stands for what second and that's why you can write second and one thing dear students speed is what speed is a scalar quantity why scalar quantity because it is the ratio of the two scalar quantity so that's why speed is a scalar quantity because distance is scalar quantity time is scalar quantity because it has only a because it has only a magnitude okay now dear student speed speed is mainly two types one is the uniform speed and second one is non uniform speed uniform speed means what uniform the letter uniform is indicate what is the actual meaning of the uniform speed means equal distance covered in equal interval of time means in uniform speed two parameters should be is same means suppose dear students in the first 10 second the distance covered by the particle 10 meter and next 10 second also 10 meter next 10 second also 10 meter so that means if the particle cover equal distance in equal interval of time then the motion is said to be a uniform motion example is what example the motion of a body in a frictionless surface on a frictionless surface so if the surface is frictionless there is no obstruction force there is no opposing force so that's why the particle cover equal distance in equal interval of time and this is a suitable example of uniform speed and non uniform speed means what non uniform speed means not cover equal distance in equal interval of time means time of interval remains same but the particle is not covered equal distance in equal interval of time means the motion of the body on a rough surface if the surface is rough so that means when the particle or object or car starts its journey so one opposing force is acting on the body so that's why the body is not covered equal distance in equal interval of time so this is the example of a non uniform motion okay so our speed part is over so next one is our parameter that is velocity velocity means what means the rate of change of displacement previous the speed means what the rate of change of distance but velocity means the rate of change of displacement so velocity equal to what displacement by time and one thing dear students when we discuss about the term speed speed is such a quantity by which which tells us how fast the body is moving but dear student velocity is not gives us the knowledge about only the magnitude of the speed of the body it is also gives us the direction of the body also because displacement is what displacement is a vector quantity so means that should have also a magnitude and direction and velocity is what displacement by time so similarly the unit is what si unit is meter per second and cgs unit is what centimeter per second so the difference the key difference between a speed and velocity is what speed is a it is a rate of change of distance velocity is rate of displacement rate of change of displacement and speed is what scalar quantity and velocity is vector quantity okay and the students speed can never be zero or negative but the student velocity sometimes it will be positive sometimes it will be negative and sometimes it will be zero also why because displacement in previous class we have already discussed in which situation displacement of the particle will be zero if the particle repeats its same position in a 
repeat this or come back to the same position after a time interval then the displacement will be zero suppose we can take one example dear students suppose this is a krishnagar and this is chakdha one train k stands for krishnagar p stands for chakdha and one train starts its journey with a speed 40 km per hour and come back to the same station with a speed 60 km per hour now i asking that what is the value of speed and velocity velocity is equal to what zero why because since the body or the train is come back to the same station that's why displacement equal to zero and then and then dear students the velocity is also zero but in this case the speed is not zero because in this entire journey the body is covered some distance so that's why the speed is not zero but velocity is zero this very important point key point dear students if the particle come back to the same position after a sometimes later so that means velocity is zero so it doesn't mean the speed of the body is zero okay next one is dear students average speed average speed means what average speed means the total distance covered by the body divided by total time taken by its entire journey that's so from this part discussion is that we can take one suitable example suppose this is your home or house and this is your friend house and from your friend house the playground will be four kilometer and the distance between your home and your friend house will be two kilometer and the time required generally you can start your journey by your bicycle and the time taken for two hour two kilometer you can consider one hour and for next four kilometer the time will be three hour then if i asking you what is the value of average speed you can just simply apply the formula the formula behind average speed equal to total distance covered by the body divided by total time taken so during its entire journey the total distance will be what 2 kilometer plus 4 kilometer that's equal to 6 kilometer and the total time will be 1 hour plus 3 hour means what 4 hour so now dear students you can cancel out this one by 2 it will be 3 so 3 by 2 means what 1.5 kilometer per hour so this is the average speed of the boy or your friend during its entire journey i think is it clear dear students next year students we can consider this topic in average velocity average velocity is what average velocity is average velocity means the total displacement the total displacement covered by the body in total time of interval total displacement total displacement did by total time taken okay so initially you can start your journey from this point and after the certain times later that means after five uh, uh, three hour you can uh, three hour plus one four hour you can reach at your field after the some moments you can come back to your home means you can come back to the same home so that means displacement will be zero so average speed zero by something if the total time will be one hour plus three four hour four plus eight so zero by something is zero so your average velocity will be zero if the particle covers or if the particle come back to the same station or if the train come back to the same station or same point from which can the particle starts its journey so that means the velocity of average velocity and the velocity will be zero and that's all i think this entire part i think clear dear students so in this topic we have discussed speed the different types of speed and the velocity different types of velocity and one thing dear students we have discussed speed means scalar quantity and velocity is what vector quantity so how can you remember during the time of exam if i give the exam the write down the difference between the speed and velocity and that moment you can write in the place of speed you can write vector quantity by mistake but how can you remember the trick the speed is scalar quantity or vector quantity yes sir when you write speed the starting letter is what starting letter is s so s means what scalar quantity when you discuss about the term velocity so starting letter is what v so this is the trick behind how can you remember v stands for what vector so speed is what scalar quantity starting letter is s and velocity is what vector quantity y starting letter is v this is trick this is not a
find behind this y velocity is vector for this y 